In this video, we're going to talk about releases versus releases. I've made a previous video where I've talked about the differences between your release and your versions, but most recently I started noticing that Atlassian is really starting to overload the word releases. And there's now a new contender in the releases space that I wanted to bring to your attention and help provide some clarity. And so I am appropriately titling this video releases versus releases because there's now two official releases inside of the world of Jira that if you're not careful, you might be not fully understanding. So I'm going to break it down for you, give you the differences and tell you which releases you should be using. Are you tired of manual backups when it comes to Jira cloud? If you've ever tried to backup Jira cloud, then you know that it's not the most intuitive thing in the world. Well, let me introduce you to rewind backups for Jira cloud. This app is made by my good friends over at rewind and it basically automates your backups in Jira cloud. Now it takes a few minutes to set up and after that you can enjoy manual or automated backups and your data will never be lost ever again. Use the link in the description below to start a free trial. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video and most importantly, check out the links in the description down below as I have just launched a brand new Udemy course, the Jira fundamentals. So if you're completely new to the world of Jira, that's the course you're going to want to start off with. Also, I got a merch store where you can find our cool shirts and you'll find all the links to all the different sponsors. Let's jump into Jira and let's talk about releases. Now, if you've been using Jira for a while, you know that on the left side of your Jira project, you have something called releases. And if you click in here, you're going to be able to define your version, which then becomes something that's available in your fixed versions. Now, this has been around for a very, very long time. And the confusing part here is that you have three different names for the exact same thing. We have the fixed version, which is at the field level. And if you're using bugs, we have the effects version too. And that's the field. And we then create versions, which happens to be created in the releases page within the project settings of a Jira project. So that's what all this is for. So traditionally, if you're trying to set up like a version one, version two, a version three, right? Um, MVP, PFC, whatever kind of versions you want to create, but that show up in your fixed versions field. And keep in mind that you, the only reason you're doing this is to organize your issues into buckets, into releasable buckets that kind of help you organize. These features are going to go into this release. These features and bug fixes are going to go into this release and so on and so forth. So that's the use case that you're trying to solve for. Then using the releases on that left hand side here, of Jira over here underneath code, this is where you're going to go do that. Now, again, this is at this point in the video, you're probably going, okay, I know this already. Like, why are you doing this video? Well, let me tell you why, because at last introduced something recently that is just confusing the heck out of people. And I'm not sure why they did this, but it re overloads the word releases. So I just wanted to establish a baseline of when we think of releases, most of the time we're talking about releases here, which again is re re involved with your versions and your fixed versions and your effects versions. All those are one thing that are all tied to this releases page. But most recently, if you go into a specific issue and you have the development functionality enabled, you'll notice that you now have a releases section here. And this is where it's again, we have the exact same word releases, but this time it's in a field called releases. And this field is very special. This field is connected to your CICD, to your deployment tool that is configured to your Jira. Now, I don't have anything configured just yet. We are going to be doing this in a future video, but I just want to let you know that these releases here are not the same releases. These are coming in from your GitHub, your Bitbucket, GitLab, whatever other CICD tool you're using, Circle CI, Jenkins, whatever it is you're doing, you're going to be able to essentially connect and link your deployment data from that tool over to Jira, and you're going to be able to see your releases there. Now, this releases is not to be confused with the fixed version down here. This fixed version here, when I click into this field over here, 
that was going to be directly correlated to the releases over here on the left. So when you're talking releases, you got to be very intentional now because just saying the word releases might cause some confusion. I've seen way too many people come over to your releases up here expecting to find that POC, that MVP, that version 1.0 only to be greeted with a pop-up that says connect your CICD tool because most people don't. And so it's just a very, very confusing thing. So at last, I'm not sure why we went down this route. I, I understand that releases make sense because that's what those are, but maybe, maybe it's time to rename this section over here on the left to versions instead of releases because now it's gonna cause a little bit of confusion. As a Jira admin, we've all been there before. Our users go in and hit delete on an issue. And even though Jira tells them, hey, once you delete this, it's gone. It's gone forever and there is no undoing it. And yet they still click on that red button and that Jira issue is deleted. Only moments later to have a change of heart and then ask you as a Jira admin to, hey, can you restore that issue that I just deleted? So you know that that's really not possible, but let me introduce you to Rewind Backups for Jira Cloud an app made by my good friends over at Rewind. Now you'll be able to restore deleted issues. So even though your users don't follow the warnings that Jira gives them, rest assured that using Rewind Backups for Jira Cloud, you'll be able to bring back those deleted issues. Use the link in the description down below to start a free trial. And to add a little bit of insult to injury, the releases that's in Jira, the traditional one, the one that we think about when we're really talking about versions, that is, encapsulated and enclosed to the world of Jira. It's there to help you organize your issues. It doesn't really serve any other significant purpose other than like it's like a label for your fields. But the releases that are now tied to your CICD, those are valuable. Those are going to be actual like releases that are now deployable through your CICD, the D being the deployments, right? Your continuous deployment uh, portion of your releases. So that is actually real true releases in my opinion that are then tied to the real pull requests that are tied to the real code that are tied to the real binaries the package whatever it is you're you're giving to your customer those releases are the real releases and so i almost kind of feel like at last if you're listening to this maybe it's time that we update this releases over here to versions because that's really all they are just versions and or even better like figure out a way to link them because Right now, I can go into my CICD tool and create my quote unquote releases over there, my versions over there, and then have a completely different, contra potentially contradicting set of releases inside of Jira. And those two might not be talking to each other. So definitely some room for opportunity of, of growth and organization there. But as of right now, I think it's just causing way more confusion than it's helping. And so I wanted to make this quick video to again, describe and explain to you that when you are talking and using the word releases, you're gonna to have to be very, very intentional. Now, most folks, I would say, the majority of people that are using Jira don't leverage the CICD capabilities, at least not just yet. This is a very much more powerful feature that's built into Jira, really only for software development teams. And as more and more non-technical folks start to use Jira, this releases here is a little bit more irrelevant. So you can get rid of it. You can move your entire development and release a section out to kind of simplify things. But most folks, I would say at least 80%, and again, I'm just throwing numbers out there, but I would say 80% based on my experience, when you're talking releases, you're really still talking about fixed versions. So hopefully that helps clarify that when you are in most conversations gonna be talking about releases, you're really gonna be talking about fixed versions and very, very few teams unless you really have taken advantage of all the bells and whistles, all the DevOps capabilities built into Jira, you're most likely not going to be referring to the deployment version of the releases. Now, I am gonna be creating future videos on this whole DevOps section, so make sure you are subscribed, and make sure you drop a like to this video so that I can see there's interest. Now, now DevOps is a bigger, bolder part of this entire uh, Jira ecosystem, and Jira is just one piece of the big puzzle, right? So if you are interested, DevOps is a much, much grander topic here of discussion, and we are gonna be doing future videos on that as we get better, as we learn. Um, but for now, again, most people, fixed version, that's where you're at, that's really where you're kind of focused on, and so I just wanted to make this clear for you. Is your company looking for a compliant backup solution for Jira Cloud? Then look no further than Rewind Backups for Jira Cloud, made by my good friends over at Rewind. Rewind is proudly 
SOC2 compliant and data is encrypted in transit and at rest using TLS 1.2 and AES 256. Crush your security and compliance requirements and get started with a free trial of Rewind Backups for Jira Cloud. Use the link in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, hopefully it clarifies a little thing, a couple of things for you. And hopefully it lets you and your teams communicate a little bit better because I've been in a couple of meetings where people are like, let's talk about releases and they go click on those releases and they're like, where are they at? They're the, the, everything I just made is not here. I'm like, mm, you're looking at the wrong field. You got to go down a little farther down, go to your fixed version. So I, I, I felt like this video might help clarify that question for you. And if it did, make sure you smash the subscribe button. And if you found value of this video, make sure you smash that like button as well. Finally, do make sure you check out all the links in the description down below so that you can find all the different ways that you can help support the channel and pay special attention to my brand new Udemy course, Jira Fundamentals, that is designed for people completely new to the world of Jira. Go show that course some love. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. I love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need